So, this is our, I mean, technically Velcana was our first Elder Dragon, but this is our first real Elder. Black Veil Valhazak. The real question is if I need to get uh, Alluvium Resistance or if Alluvial Expert is going to be enough for me to survive this. God, dude, this longsword set is so fucking anime, it's ridiculous. The one thing I really need to practice with, um, and I was I was trying a lot, especially, like, I was just in the, the training area, but getting the, the counterattack timing... Like, you know, Foresight Slash is a huge window, but the, the timing for, for this guy, it's super tight. Like, somebody somebody was doing a test I saw on YouTube, and it's like, you have a window of, like, five frames, essentially. Are we allowed to join if we have weapons and armor from monsters you haven't seen? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, it's not like you're going to be, like, running into my face, like, look at this, look at this, look at this. You know, it's just stuff. If you want to be polite, you could, like, put on some layered so I don't see it. But I'm not big on that. I'm more... I, for me, it's more about, the, like, experiencing the monsters. What the fuck? They're, like, covered in alluvium. What character are you going to play in Borderlands? Um, to be honest, I haven't even... Okay, listen here, you shits. I haven't looked at, like, half of the characters. Based on what I know, I'll probably end up playing Amara, just because I do love me sirens. Bing, bing. I bet I could carve these guys up for some goodies. Did I kill any of them, or did they all just dip out? There we go. Oh my god, it's a gift some bomb. KTM. Coming in with all of the sub love. Yeah, like I need to look at, at uh, Flack and Moe still before I decide. But as of now, I would definitely do Amara over, um, over what's-his-face, Zane. Zane looks okay, but I, I didn't really like his playstyle that much. I, I like characters that are very heavy on ability usage, and Amara definitely fits that. I'll move this back from my pizza escapade. Pizza escapade. What's the second bar next to spirit? That's my special Isuba. Every time my weapon is sheathed, like when I pull it out, you can see how the... Well, I need to start attacking, but basically it's a buff that builds up from having the four-piece Velhaka bonus, and it increases your attack damage. Where, like, you get, like, four or five hits that are boosted. So, it plays really well into this, uh, this quick sheath style playset. It's making spores. Black Veil Hazaka's peak fashion in this game. Oh, man. This dude looks menacing. It's like he doesn't even have eyes. He just has these spores and shit growing all over him, dude. Let's go after it. Or I could just follow it and get all these uh, these things, you know. My alluvial expert did not stop that. Oh, this is going to be bad. I can already tell. So I stopped 
the I stopped the damage ticks, but not the status. God damn it, let me send you reeling into a wall, you shit. I need to hold on that. Where's all the shinies that you got to drop out? I'm gonna pick those up real fast. Nope, he does not like that idea. Old dragon treasure. His alluvium goes out from all around his body now too, which is really weird. Damn, that hurts a lot. On our immunity mantle. Come on, put it temporal, 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 temporal. to, to <clears throat> slot in alluvial buildup. Might be able to get a mount right here if I'm careful. the storm you cannot be to me When I put it in, stage one, stage two, stage three. It basically charges up for easy clap damage. But it makes it a very, very potent weapon now. Like, to put it in perspective, you're uh, a Helmbreaker. Helmbreaker will hit for about 850 with this set. I want to see the numbers I was getting earlier. I was getting like 850 with Helmbreaker and my sheath attack was hitting like 650. And you can do the, as long as you time it right, the sheath attack is free to use and doesn't cost anything. So you can do some mean fucking shit with this build once you, uh, once you learn it right. Because the idea is you would, you can go the attack, the sheath attack into Helmbreaker to just really fucking ramp up some damage. Oh, 
come on. You always do this. You're right next to the thing. Oh, god damn it. Into the wall, into the wall, into the wall! There we go. How do you like the paralysis? Oh shit. This is actually going really well, considering I don't have uh, any of my, my my thing to cancel that out. Oh, no, nope. Damn, immunity mantle just saved my fucking berries. Cheesy nuts with the sub hype. Like, I can never time that. I can time the other one pretty well. Oh, damn. I'm gonna need to actually, uh... Potions. <laughs> Out of potions. I am super digging this set, though, man. I've had, what, two paralyzes on him already? How is DW? DW? Dual, dual wield? What do you mean DW? Am I forgetting a an acronym? Uh, this is the Viper Toby Kadachi Longsword. Respectable raw, decent affinity. Paralyze. The paralysis is the main reason I use this thing, because it it just ruins. Cut the tail to get the weapon. Alright, I'm gonna focus on chopping that tail off. Something longsword does best. He's not enraged right now. I might be able to get a face smash. One more turn, be a good boy, and now suck on a wall! How did that whiff? Nergi is over here now. Dude, I think that's one of the coolest changes. It's like, like, to be honest, it's tiring always fighting near Gigante in the same fucking spot. Knowing that a Nergi could just show up in Ancient Forest is dope.
Oh, what is he doing? Oh shit, he like killed all the wildlife in the area. Stop it. Stop it. Come on, dude, get off of me. Trying to get a second mount here. God, that sucks. Give me your fucking face. I can wall him, but I need him to stop moving. Got your lockers. Your tail is mine. He's like a reverse vacuum cleaner just blowing out all the crap. Meowmers is going to town on his ass too. Boom, boom. Oh shit, what's up? I can't I can't really talk this second. I'm fighting an auto dragon. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, man. One of my, so, my neighbor, they always park their, their car out in the street, which is fucking irritating to me, because, you know, it's like... If I'm trying to leave, like, I need to be really careful backing up because, uh, their car is always right fucking there. And apparently the pizza guy, as he was reversing out, fucking hit their car. I'm like, oof. He moves fast. Like a St. Bernard trampling you. I mean that's that's the thing I don't I don't get, because they they have a car, they have one car in the garage, and then the other car they just leave in the street all the time. And that's like why why, dude? You have a driveway. Use your driveway. He's like, oh well, you know, blah blah blah. And I'm like, just use it. Like, I don't get it. Well, anyway, 
It sucks after uh, Pizza Guy bumping them, though. I think they might start uh, probably a pretty big... Uh... What's up, you broke-ass bitch? I see you. Third prayer lies. It would block the other car from getting out, but the other car doesn't go anywhere because it's Mark's wife's car and she just had a baby. She does not drive. She stays home all the fucking time. She's she's full stay-at-home mom right now, so it's like, why? And they could they they could probably fit both cars, but they have they use like half of their uh, they like have half their garage just like filled with stuff, so. Anyway, you know, if they, at the end of the day, you want to park in the street, park in the street. I'm careful to not hit his car, but I do find it funny that it's like, that car is always in a spot where I'm like, man, somebody's going to fucking hit it. Somebody's going to fucking hit it. And sure enough, somebody fucking hit it. What the fuck is this? Oh, he did that before, but it just whiffed. I don't like that everything's covered in like this weird ash all of a sudden. I'm gonna... Blew up like a fucking balloon, dude. Oh my god, I'm still taking alluvium damage. Oh my god, this guy is infuriating. I'm gonna need to have the other thing on, because the alluvium expert doesn't, it just doesn't work enough. This guy is eating all of my potions. Is the audio out of sync for anyone? I hope not. If it is, I'll restart my computer after this, but I'll, uh, I think it's out of sync. Try refreshing the stream if it's out of sync for you. It usually fixes it. Um... Damn, this guy is lengthy. want to get some other people in here, but I'm going to at least kill him the first time on my own. God damn it. I 
any second now. Just take a deep breath. And good we got this then Nope, I was too close. I'm sorry. Looks like no sleep bomb for yours truly. Damn it. I meant to hit foresight slash and I fucked it up. No, he's not. He doesn't sleep here. What the hell? Well, he's going up to sleep. I'll... Get that. There's a DDoS? Who's a DDoS and what? can't even you just look like a mass of flesh let's get some polish on this bitch oh shit I fucking fucked up the bombs Time to just go hard with as much damage as- Damn it, you with your roars! Just die already, Hazak! He's gonna do his big, ugly blow-upper. Oh, there we go. There we go. Amount, amount, this late. Gonna have a bad time. One thing I'm not sure about is, uh, is Longsword a consistent weak point creator? So I feel like half the time I do Longsword, all I get is a, uh, Slinger ammo. I know Switch Axe, every time I touch it, is a weak point. I wasn't sure about, uh...
That was so nice. That was so nice. Oh my god, that kill. Nice. Legit, that's probably going in the long sword build video. That that final hit where I'm just like shing shing, boom, and it kills it. That's that's a uh, that's anime build opening video worthy right there. Need a need a marker, anime opening. Thousand biddies worth of badass. Mm. Took forever. 30, 30 minute long hunt, but we got him. You are no match for me in my powers of anime. Good kill, though. Good kill.